Hi, uh, yeah. I'm Claire. Um, I'm a professional poet. I work with the RLF, uh, the Royal Literary Fund. Um, for the past couple of centuries, the RLF has been supporting writers in lots of different ways. Uh, part of their work at the moment is supporting uh, people like me, writers, to set up um, writing projects in lots of different places and communities, workplaces, academia. Um, I'm part of an RLF USDO project and we've been working together for a couple of years now to set up writing skills workplaces, writing skills workshops in workplaces across the UK. So we've been working in places like call centres, warehouses, factories, superstores, you name it. Uh, we're now working purely online uh, because these are extraordinary times. That's the point. The project that I'm here to deliver for today is the Right Now project, which was established in response to these extraordinary times. And the point of Right Now is to make sure that frontline industry workers, retail distribution uh, and allied uh, industry workers are there as part of the historical record. Uh, we're also running the project because we believe that life writing is, is fun, it's really good for you, uh, and that when we can write confidently, uh, when we can tell our own stories and our own voices, it adds to our choices, it adds to our options, it makes us more, feel more powerful uh, and more confident in our everyday lives. It's a good thing. So it's a win-win situation. Uh, you've got me for the next uh, eight or nine minutes to run a short writing exercise. Hopefully you're gonna produce a brilliant piece of writing during that time and you're gonna send it to us um, or you may want to go away and work on the piece that you start in the next eight minutes and watching the clock. When you do that, um, I would like you to send your piece to me I'm going to share my personal email address with you here. Um, not just so that you can keep in touch and, you know, tell me about your holidays and, and such like, but also because any accounts that you share with us that come from uh, retail and distribution and allied industries that come from those experiences will go straight into a national archive. They'll be hosted uh, by USDOR. It will be on the USDOR national uh, website uh, and with your permission will also be shared with, for example, journalists, media campaigns, or maybe just ordinary people uh, who wanna uh, read about other people uh, and how we're all getting through this and we're getting through it separately and together. The point of tonight's se session, because it is evening, uh, I thought I'd try a nighttime session. I always thought I thought I'd also try um, filming from a different part of my house. So even though I've got tiny, because I'm sharing Sue's piece of writing, you might have noticed behind me is a whole bunch of paintings. Welcome to my home gallery. I feel a bit like uh, Tony Hart. Um, the the picture of the trees behind me. They're by my mate Donna. Donna Smith um, and the little one of some cut up trees. That's by my daughter. Uh, and there's an etching um, of an owl that my daughter also did. What's the other one? Oh, that's just a picture of an owl that I really like. Trees and owls. There's something really lovely about sharing your house with other people, I think. Um, and although um, working from home, because I work from home in West Yorkshire, it's been really challenging. I really miss people. Um, it's lovely when there are positive things about the experience, like getting to talk to you tonight, getting to show you my paintings, even though uh, I can't see you. Okay, you've got Sue's piece of writing in front of you. I'm going to read through this, and then you're going to write one of your own. Sue So. Sue So, sorry Sue, if you're watching. Uh, MLR, that stands for Mobile Learning uh, Rep, representative, and Sue works in the Northwest region. Worked with Sue quite a few times in different Tesco settings, and Sue is an absolute hero, and this is her writing. I'm glad of these times. I'm glad my dog is asleep. I'm looking peaceful while I work. I'm glad it's not raining and all my washing will dry. 
I'm glad when I watch Our Yorkshire Farm and their beautiful nine children, but I'm not glad to see repeat after repeat of old programmes. I'm glad I always have strawberries, grapes, blueberries and vanilla yoghurt for a special treat. Also that block of cheese and that homemade Italian soup. I'm glad to see my wonderful regular customers every week, especially Mary, who are eight to nine years young, still buy streets for a 35 year old grandson. But I'm not glad to see customers who think face masks and social distancing is for others. I'm glad to have a cup of coffee, look out of my window and see my solar light shining at night. But most of all, I'm glad my daughter is my best friend. Every time I read that poem, it makes me feel a bit kind of uh, warm and shiny inside. I just accidentally called it a poem and I don't even know if that's how Sue sees it. We don't care what you write in the sense of what genre it is, what type of writing. You know, it might be uh, a poem, a song, a list, a story, a letter, uh, you know, a bullet pointed uh, PowerPoint presentation. It can be whatever you want it to be. The main point is we want you to write. Um, and you might, some of you who read, uh, might have spotted that Sue, uh, Sue's poem is modelled on Helen Dunmore's Glad of These Times. Um, a beautiful poem that I recommend checking out. Lovely heartwarming poem. Um, we've taken that as a starting point because sometimes when we're writing about really big things like life or the pandemic, uh, change, um, how to stay happy, it's overwhelming if you just try and write about a massive subject all at once. Often we just need a way in and we need a scaffold to hold uh, that massive story. Um, so what Sue uh, was invited to do uh, using Helen Dunmore's poem as a model uh, was to start her lines with I am glad of and then she was prompted uh, to write about various aspects of her life beginning with that phrase I am glad of. Um, I'm going to do the same with you. <laughs> I'm going to give you just one, two, three, four, something like six prompts and you're going to write for about 30 seconds on each, that's all. You might only be writing a couple of words, you might be writing a line, you might write more. You might uh, want to hit the pause button um, and completely ignore that 30 second thing. That's ridiculous. Uh, and write for 10 minutes in response to each prompt. I'd never be able to write for that long, but you might. Um, at the end of it, you'll have a piece. It might feel like a finished piece. It might feel like something you want to work on. Uh, but whichever way, if you work in retail and distribution or allied industries like food production, call centres, banks, senders, please, your piece of writing for, um, for our National Archive. That would be so wonderful. And you can join highly talented people like Sue. So what are we going to do? We've seen Sue's piece. You can come back and look at my face in more detail and my lovely pictures uh, of paintings. We're going to free write. Free write means we don't care about punctuation. We don't care about spelling. We don't care about grammar. We couldn't care less whether it makes sense. We don't care about rhyme or form or structure or la 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 la. Any of those worries that make you get all tense and often stop you from writing. Those things stop you from writing. They stop you from telling your story. They stop you from telling your version of events. They're no good. Uh, so for the next couple of minutes you're going to ignore them and you are going to start with your pen on the paper with your fingers above the keyboards by writing just aim for one line even just one short line about something that you are glad for write down I am glad of something at home that you are glad of Something on the telly that you're glad of. Whew. Where to begin? <laughs> Something on the telly that you are not glad of. And again, God, how do you choose at the moment? 
it's the first thing that comes in your mind. Just trust the first thing that comes in your mind. Write that down. It might lead you into other areas. Keep writing. Mm. Jeez, you hear me murmuring. It's because I just thought about Trump. Uh, something that you're glad of in your fridge. I'm scribbling away here. Making you work quickly. So remember you can hit pause or you can come back to this later. Something that you're glad of at work, wherever you work, however you work, whatever your work is. Something about it that makes you glad. I am glad. And something that you're not glad of. Hmm. And then the final line that we're going to write is something that you're glad of outside your window. Okay, that was super quick. So I'm gonna read you out my tiny effort so that you can then finish off writing yours or go away and start writing yours. I'm glad of fairy lights. I'm glad of the comfort of Netflix, but I'm not glad of the evening news. I'm glad of Coors Light in my fridge. I'm glad of my colleague, Mary, but I'm not glad that I can't hug her anymore. I'm glad of the autumn night over the moors. Okay, um, I look forward to reading yours. You might write it as a list, you might write it as a poem, it might be a letter, it might be the beginnings of a story. Send it to me and thank you so much for joining me. Bye bye. <laughs>